lot of questions on my Instagram for me to explain how I use a bullet journal system. I'll put a link in the description box of this video of how um, the bullet journal system actually technically works. I have just adjusted it a little bit to work for what I need it to work for. And um, so I do a little things a little bit differently and I was going to show you. So um, this is my current bullet journal. It's a loose term. I don't know. I mean, somebody told me how to say the name of it, but I forgot already because it's just one of those things that I don't, I can't keep track of it. But this is what it is. This is a navy and then this was the emerald. I ordered two just in case so I'd have one on hand. They're on Amazon for pretty cheap and also Goulette Pens. Ooh, Goulette Pens has them, so um, you can find them there. I've just added um, with some washi tape and I think I used a removable glue roller on the back of this um, Project Life card. So it's a little bit more fancy. And I've got some charms and things like that that I tied to the bookmark. I just tied, slipped it on there and tied a knot as close to the binding as I could. I also have a pen loop that um, they sell separately, but you can get it to match the color of the notebook in my super bright fountain pen, which I like. And the paper in this handles it really well. I will show you how I use this. Now, the good thing about these notebooks is they have a place for a name and address, which I don't use. Um, but they have a table of contents, which is really important with the bullet journaling thing. And I think I explained this in my last bullet journal video. Um, if you know anything about bullet journaling, an index is really important. So you can actually find things that you, you know, collections or dates and things like that, that you've written down. You'll be able to look at your table of contents and find it in the back. So, and then I also start at the back for things that you know just need to stay there like my um, taco seasoning recipe I don't like using the stuff in the store it's full of garbage so I have my own and I just put the recipe in the back here so I always have it and then next time I need to make some I can make a big bunch so the first page can anybody ever write on the first page probably not I just added some paper and another Project Life card um, with a saying on it that I like. It says, there are only two ways to live your life. One is as though nothing is a miracle and the other is as though everything is a miracle. And I thought that's pretty nice. So um, for monthly challenges, I always write them down in my journal. It's just easier. Sometimes there are printables. Um, which I could use, but I think I just prefer to print them or to write them out. So it kind of like solidifies it in my memory. So this is the bullet journal challenge and then declutter 365, which you can find them on Facebook. She's got like a 15 minute task every day for decluttering. I kind of fell off the bandwagon for a little bit here, but I'll get back on it. Um, how I bullet journal, instead of having like a big weekly spread or something like that, I have my important things on two pages. So my meal plans and my grocery list on this side. And then on this side, I use um, the four grid with my you know weekly inspiration. Usually it's like a quote or scripture or something like that. Um, the things that I need to do for home and family that are not date specific, but um, I just need to get them done at some point during the week. And then um, I have work to do, which includes like my Etsy shop or like YouTube videos or like my creative, like me kind of stuff that doesn't really include my family for the most part. And then if I have appointments or places I need to go get, you know, do things, I will put it in my places to go. Um, I just use a pen and a ruler to guesstimate how big this should be. And then I like decorating them. So I've just got some washi tape and I stamp the washi tape with stays on ink keep it close by because it does really well on washi tape and you can see it doesn't smear once it's on it's on so then this so this is what every week starts with and then I go into my daily tasks um, I do decorate my bullet journal some people um, or the original bullet journal is day and then when you're done with that day you go straight into the next day sometimes I do that if I 
don't have a lot of free time, but um, for the most part, I use a day of page and I don't go too far ahead um, and say, okay, well, I'm gonna schedule seven pages for this week and then do next week. Nope, don't do that. I just go as it, daily as it comes. And so I can decorate both. So I've got Monday here and Tuesday here. And then I've got, so um, my tasks for the day, what we're having for dinner. Um, if I have any appointments, I'll write it on this side. Um, what I've eaten for the day, I kind of need to keep track of those things and make sure I'm eating properly. And then um, whatever space I have left on the page, either I will put pictures or stickers or I will use journal prompts and things like that. And then like this is from uh, the Patriot Girl. I did a auction for her son so he could sponsor some orphans in Kenya. And I just thought this little note was really cute. So I put that in and some washi and things like that. So every day is basically my tasks list and you know, whatever's going on that day and then my journaling or whatever I want below that. Um, here's another thing with the prompts. I can, I printed these out and I just keep them in my journal so it's easier for me to find them and use these little tabs. So if I say, uh, I don't know what to journal today, I can pull this and say, oh, what's on this? This is from Life Captured Project, and then this one is for from um, Creative with Kids. She's got really good um, journal prompts, and I like those. They're not date specific. You can just pick whatever you want, but I'll link those all down in the show notes. Um, so here we are again, Wednesday, Thursday, all of my you know static things, tasks, and things like that, and then my journaling below. Um, how I use the bullets, I don't use boxes. I'm not very good at drawing boxes, so I use open dots. And then when I've completed it, I fill it in, or I'll just cross it out, or put an arrow over it if I need to migrate it over, and things like that. So I also do collections, uh, my lists and things randomly whenever I feel like they need to go in. Um, if I have an idea for something, for instance, we're moving to Alaska next year, so I need to start with a list of things we need to buy. Um, I need to add something to that list. So somebody just gave me a tip on my Instagram. Um, so that's basically it. Quotes, I didn't have a lot of journaling that day. Um, another collection of pen pal addresses, people I mail, we mail back and forth to. Um, school supplies for my daughter, her list. I could have just printed it out and then had an extra sheet of paper floating around in my purse, probably getting lost, but put it in here and then I know what I need to get, what I've already gotten, and I can ask, um, add stuff onto it as well. And like her clothes, outfits and stuff we need to get and things we need to do before school starts. I do add pictures, I print with my selfie, or well, sometimes I print with the Instax printer, but pictures, sometimes doodles and stickers and things like that. I definitely stamp because um, I like that. And then here's another week more decorated. Again, my meal plans and my grocery list, my quad for the week, um, what things need to get done. And then what's this? See, I did another two days on this because just didn't, there was too much going on this day. I didn't have really a lot of time to sit down and do anything with it. So I've got Wednesday and Thursday little bit of journaling here and then today is this today today's friday yes today's friday so i may have a little bit of space left over here for journaling um because i took up a lot of space with this quote and then i have a tracker to keep track of uh, my supplements and um, eating and things like that that i need to be taken care of and I'll just mark a box. I'll probably go in with a fine line pen and make this more of like a gridded instead of the dots, but I'll get there when I get there. So that's basically it. I don't have, I haven't gotten, what, this is two weeks? Two weeks into this one. Um, it's pretty much how I've done it for a long time now. So um, that's just how I do it. And then I think I showed before that um, forward planning in the bullet journal is a little bit, um, a little bit of a problem, but there's a pocket in the back of this notebook and I have a Dory insert that I made a while ago and I just keep this, it's monthly view in the back. So that's all that is in my bullet journal. 
And then I think I showed you guys before too, sometimes I keep it in a compendium. I have Kiki K compendium. I sometimes keep it in here when I'm leaving. I just, or out, or I know I'm gonna be out for a while and need some things with it. Um, I just took it out for the video, but yeah, that's about it. So I will put links to everything in the notes. And if you have any questions, leave me a comment. Okay.